human development today under this topic we are going to deal with the lesson cognitive development the objectives of this lesson is to understand the components of cognitive growth to understand the variations in cognitive growth across the lifespan stages young children are not only growing physically during the early childhood during the infancy but they are also growing mentally the children of this age continue to advance their skills in observing interacting with the world around them they also make tremendous leaps in how they process store and use the information cognitive development is a field of study in neuroscience and psychology focusing on the child's development in terms of information processing conceptual resources perceptual skills language learning and other aspects of the brain development in other words cognitive development is emergence of the ability to think and understand cognition is the process with which one learns about the world and the objects in it and to understand the relationship between the objects and between themselves and the world cognition is the ability to learn and understand from experience to acquire and retain knowledge to respond to a new situation and to solve the problems so cognitive development refers to the changes and stability in mental abilities such as learning attention memory language thinking reasoning and creativity now let us see the how cognitive development occurs in children children are born with inherent potential for intellectual growth the development that potential by interacting with the environment assimilating the information through the senses and processing it language moral and spiritual development emerge as cognitive ability advances progressive acquisition of higher levels of cognitive skills occurs in the children natural unfolding of this ability also happens each stage is a foundation for the next stage sequential predictable cognitive abilities occur at every stage of the development if given adequate stimulation and an intact neurological system the child gradually matures to be able to fully conceptualize the proceedings from motor activity to social interaction and finally abstract thought piaget was the major force in establishing of this field forming his theory of cognitive development piaget developed an interest in the intellectual development of the children based upon his observations he concluded that the children are not less intelligent than the adults they simply they think differently piaget created a theory for cognitive development that describes the basic strategies of the children as they grow mentally he believed that children are actively trying to make a sense of the world rather than simply soaking up the information passively according to piaget the thought process of children progresses through through four cognitive developmental stages after having understood what is cognitive development and how it occurs let us now try to see what is cognitive process piaget described the cognitive growth as occurring through three interrelated process that are organization adaptation and equilibration before we explain the process let us first look at the concept of scheme these are cognitive guides or blueprints for processing the information about the world it is reliable response to environmental stimuli these are the mental patterns or systems that describe the way people think about the world which are building blocks of thinking at each successive stage of cognitive development these individual schemes incorporate previous level and become more sophisticated and complex some schemes are present at the birth such as sucking grasping 
these are physically based activities that are characterized under behavioral schemes as children acquire more information the scheme becomes more and more complex for example they have schemes for remembering for solving problems these are mental schemes or cognitive based activities adults have a greater number of schemes for example they are able to use a computer and understand the idea of globalization to make sense out of their world the children cognitively organize the knowledge about their experiences into categories the grouping and combining of various experiences is referred to as organization in piaget's term organization provides the children with new and more advanced ways to understand their environment let us look at some of the example information about dogs cats horses is organized into animal classification adaptation as the child acquires new experiences the existing schemes become inadequate to function more effectively the child has to adapt adaptation is a process of adjusting the schemes and experiences to each other to maintain a state of equilibrium it is the process of building a reliable response to stimuli through direct interaction with the environment adaptation consists of two complementary processes they are accommodation and assimilation accommodation accommodation involves the modification of existing scheme to fit new information and experience that is making new adjustment to the environmental demands for example the kid has to be informed that not all flying vehicles are aeroplanes in this case accommodation would involve the modification of aeroplane scheme assimilation it occurs when children take in new information and incorporate into their existing schemes for example a young kid may identify all soft toys as teddy bears and all flying vehicles as aeroplanes these are two processes continue throughout the life sensory motor stage from birth to 2 years piaget says that they come under the sensory motor stage in the initial part of this stage the children focus on what they are doing and seeing at the moment their schemes are based largely on the behavior and perceptions for them the objects that are out of sight are out of mind later in the stage the babies develop the object permanence it is infants understanding that object continues to exist even they are out of sight towards the end of this stage the babies acquire the ability to represent objects and events in terms of symbols these symbols take the form of words and simple sentences the infant differentiates himself from the objects and learns about the environment through his sensory exploration and motor play this stage is again divided into six sub stages they are simple reflexes first habits and primary circular reactions phase secondary circular reaction phase coordination of secondary circular reaction stages tertiary circular reactions novelty and curiosity and internalization of schemes the next stage is the pre operational stage from 2 years to 7 years during this stage the use of symbolic thought expands rapidly especially the use of the language the children's rapidly increasing vocabularies enable them to represent and think about the people events objects and feelings they gain the ability to represent mentally the objects that are not present they also begin to draw people animals and objects 
in the beginning the drawings are fanciful however to the end of their stage their drawing becomes more realistic more neat and more precise apart from the greater expansion in the use of symbolic thought the pre operational children also gain other cognitive advances for example at this stage the children begin to realize that every event has a cause the pre operational stages can be further grouped they are pre conceptual phase 2 to 4 years the child is very egocentric he classifies the objects only by single feature an example is an experiment performed by piaget Three views of a mountain are shown to the child and is asked what a traveling doll would see at various angles. The child picks their own view of compared to the actual view of the doll. Animism is the belief that inanimate objects are capable of actions and have lifelike qualities. Then the second period is the intuitive phase. from 4 to 7 years the child is able to think in terms of classification of objects and can understand the relationship to some extent for example a child is presented two identical beakers containing the same amount of liquid the child usually notes that the beakers have same amount of liquid when one of the beaker is poured into a taller and thinner container the children who are younger than 7 to 8 years old is typically says that the two beakers now contain different amounts of liquid the child simply focuses on the height and width of the container compared to the general concept the symbolic function the young child thinks first in symbols and continues to do so even after they become proficient with the language and other socially accepted signs the characteristics of the pre operational thought they are egocentrism animistic thinking centration reversibility seriation and classification now let us have a look to egocentrism what is egocentrism the pre operational children cannot take the role of another person they are limited by egocentrism cognitively self centered they look at the world from their own point of view and ignore others perspectives they assume that everyone thinks as they do and the whole world shares their feelings and desires animistic thinking the young child assumes that inanimate objects such as sun the moon have properties of living things they think that they will have motives feelings and intentions which affect their behavior centration it is a tendency to attend to only one attribute of what one observes and ignores the others a child tends to center its attention on what strikes first and most vividly as a result the child is unable to make it a multiple dimensions such as sizes shapes simultaneously irreversibility a pre operational child is also limited in the concept of irreversibility since it fails to understand that an action when reversed will restore the original state for example a liquid is poured into two dissimilar containers the child fails to realize that the quantity is same since the pouring operation can go both the ways the child cannot conceptualize the possibility of restoring the original state by pouring the water back into the glass another characteristics of this stage is seriation and classification during the preschool years the children learn to deal with such concepts like time space causation judgment of age and morality the other concept that piaget has studied are seriation and classification a child shows that he can understand the serial relationship when he can arrange the objects in a sequence along one or more relevant dimensions 5 to 6 year old children can do the initial seriation the ability to arrange stimuli according to one or more dimension such as the shortest to tallest the lightest to heaviest is the seriation sorting 
stimuli into categories of characteristics such as color or shape is classification. These are some of the characteristics of the pre-operational stage. After having understood about the sensory motor stage, pre-operational stage, now let us move into the next stage of cognitive development which is concrete operational stage is from 7 years to 12 years. Piaget referred to cognitive development occurring between 7 to 12 years as concrete operational stage. Piaget uses the term operations to refer to the reversible abilities that the child has not yet developed. By reversible, Piaget refers to the mental or physical actions that occur in more than one way or in differing directions. While in concrete operational stage, the older children cannot think both logically and abstractly. The school age children are limited to thinking concretely intangible, definite, exact and unidirectional terms based on the real and concrete experiences rather than the observations. During this concrete operational stage, the children develop the ability to think in more logical manner. They are less egocentric than before and can take multiple aspects of a situation into account. At this stage, the children can do mentally what they previously could do only physically and they can reverse the concrete operations. They are able to classify, understand inclusion, reverse the thought, go for centration to decentration and develop the skills of conservation of thought. The children show remarkable advances in thinking and problem solving strategies. The development of concrete operation allows the child to deal with the concept of classes, relations and quantity. Classification To understand the concepts involved in classification, the child must perceive the logical similarity among the group of objects and be able to sort them based on their common features. By the age of 5 to 6 years, when the children are moving into the stage of concrete operation, they begin to sort objects by their logical defining properties. When given a group of geometric shapes, they are not likely to group the objects based on the shape, size, color and make an interesting pattern. Relationship a second major development that indicates the transition to operational thought is development of mature understanding of relations. This understanding allows the child to see the world in an orderly manner, to detect and understand consistencies and patterns as the adult ones. The young children do have a basic understanding of the concepts such as greater than, less than and in the ordering task also. Quantity An understanding of quantity involves awareness that regardless of the changes in physical appearance, quantity remains the same unless material is added or subtracted. For example, a biscuit. When a biscuit is broken into two pieces, a child thinks that they have more cookies to eat than they did before. In contrast, older children make judgment on the basis of genuine understanding of the quantity. The appearance may be different, but since nothing was added or subtracted, the total amount has not changed. The school age children are better at the skill of remembering than the younger children. The experience of more of the world, the older children have more to draw upon when encoding and recalling information. In school, the older children also learn how to use memory strategies, creating humorous lyrics, devising acronyms, chunking facts like breaking the long list of items into groups of threes and fours, rehearsing the facts that means repeating them many times help the children to memorize increasingly complicated amounts and types of information. These are the concrete operational stages of PRG.
most adolescents reach the PRG stage of formal operational stage by the age of 12 years, in which they develop new tools for manipulating information. Previously, as children, they could only think concretely, but in formal operational stage, they can think abstractly and deductively. Adolescents in this stage can also consider future possibilities, search for answers, deal with flexibility of the problems, test hypotheses, draw conclusions about the events they have not yet experienced with first hand. This stage begins when the children develop the capacity of thinking that is abstract, systematic and hypothetical. These capabilities allow the students to make abstract reasoning, sophisticated moral judgments and plan more realistically for their future. They can understand historical time, learn algebra, calculus, imagine possibilities and form and test the hypothesis and also can use deductive reasoning. This is evident in five distinct areas of cognition. Adolescent thinking is more advanced because they can think abstract concepts and ideas whereas during the late childhood their think is limited to concrete concepts and ideas. Adolescents are able to consider what they observe against a backdrop of what is possible. They can think hypothetically. For example, adolescents find it easier than the children to comprehend the sort of high order abstract logical inherent inputs, proverbs, metaphors and analogies. Improvement in metacognition that is an increased introspection and self consciousness. They provide important intellectual advantages. One potentially negative by the product of these advances is a tendency for the adolescents to develop a sort of egocentrism or intense preoccupation with self. The thinking tends to become multidimensional. Rather than limited to a single issue, the thinking becomes multidimensional. They are able to understand the people's personalities are not one sided or that the social settings can have different interpretations depending on one point of view and permits the adolescents to have far more sophisticated and complicated relationship with other people. They see the things are relative rather than absolute. They are more likely to question others assertions and less likely to accept the facts as an absolute truth. This makes the parents feel that their adolescent children question everything just for the sake of argument. These are some of the characteristics of the formal operational stages. Changes in mental operations, what do they include? Let us see. Classification. Classification skill is central to the development of concrete operations. It is the ability to group the objects according to common attributes. It allows the children to put the world in order and simplify it. This period appears to be more organized and orderly based on what is immediately present. Multiple classification. It is the ability to make comparisons between the whole class of objects and subsets within the class. During the late childhood, the children's ability to consider several dimensions at once will be developed. Emergence of concept of reversibility. The children in school age do possess the reversible intellectual operations. These children can exhibit reversible mental operations based on two rules, the inversion and compensation. The negotiation rule states that operation can be always inverted or negated. For example, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 minus 2 is 5. The next characteristic is the change from centration to decentration. The preschool child is more prone to concentrate on or center his attention exclusively on a single future or limited portion of stimulus array that is particularly interesting to him, thereby neglecting the other tasks or relevant features. 
on the other hand a school age children focuses on several aspects of the problem for example take a brand of cars color of cars and features of cars etc the next one is the improvement in understanding seriation during the late childhood the children understand the logical of serial positions for example if we ask the children to arrange the sticks that vary in length in order from the largest to the shortest a pre operational child may arrange them slowly in this continuous way usually by comparing the pairs of sticks but concrete operational children can control the apparent height by aligning the bases of the sticks and focusing on their actual length the next one is improvement in the concept of conservation of different dimensions the children in concrete stage of operation understand that quantity is the same despite the change in appearance this is known as conservation the children in concrete operational stage develop the concept of conservation towards the quantity let that be a solid or liquid quantity the length the area the number and the volume problem solving abilities they can mentally represent the action concrete operational children can mentally visualize the changes that occur in conservation tasks example they can understand the content of clay and how it can be transformed into a ball or a snake the focus is more on one dimension they have the ability to think both length and height of the clay rather than focusing on only one dimension they recognize that appearance can be deceiving they recognize that what they see can sometimes mislead them they can also use the logical and override misleading experiences the last characteristic is understanding there is increased understanding during the late childhood when compared to the early childhood as their world expands with the entrance of the school their interest in understanding the people around them will be increased for example in building up the social concepts they associate the cultural stereotypes with people of different groups and socio economic groups etc so today we try to understand what is cognitive development then we have seen the piaget stages of cognitive development the first stage as sensory motor stage that is from infancy to 2 years next we went to understand the stage of pre operational stage during the early childhood period after understanding the infancy and early childhood we went to see on the concrete operational stage which is during the school age period after having understood about the school age period cognitive development then we have moved to see the piaget's formal operational development or the stage which happens during the adolescence period that is from 12 years so we try to understand how the cognitive development occurs from infancy to adolescence hope you have understood the lesson thank you